गुड मर्णिंग एव्रीबडी आई एम डर कानून चरण पात्र वेलकम टू वन स्टेप रेडियोलोजी डेली टुडे आई एम गोईंग टू टेल अबाउट भेरियस एम आर आई सिक्वेन्से यूज इन द ब्रेन इमेजिंग इन अंकोलोजी प्राक्टिस सो देर आर टू टाइप्स अफ इमेज वन इज द स्ट्रक्चरल इमेज वन इज द फंक्शनल इमेज इन स्ट्रक्चरल इमेज you can see the normal structure and some uh, normal structure gray matter white matter vascular structures everything but in functional image you need uh, you, uh, in some functional image in you, you can see the any change in the uh, chemical in change in the tract problems any functional change blood vessel change, uh, perfusions then you can see the function in functional image you can see the uh, various change in the function of the brain Then what is a sequence? Sequence is events in MRI machine. By varying the sequence of radio frequency pulse applied and collected, different types of images are created. So this is just a sequence of events in MRI machine during the image acquisition. There are many many companies are there like Philips, GE, Toshiba, Siemens, and Hitachi. Mostly. T1 sequence, T2 sequence, flare sequence are very common name to all, but the other sequences are a different. The name is different from the different to different company. So, how to see uh, sequence of images generated by playing with TR and T and RF. TR is the repetition time, the time between two excitations. TE is the echo time, the time interval in which signals are measured after RF excitation. so this is you can uh, play with the tr and te and uh, you can um, generate men, uh, uh, sequences as per your need so let's see what are the events uh, happens in the mri when the patient um, um, uh, introduce in the bore there is application of magnetic field then application of radio frequency then slowly when we withdraw the radio frequency there is a release of energy this release of energy then it is this release of energy is a transmitted a fourier transmission and conversion of analog signal to digital signal then digital signal uh, uh, converted to image and will then get an mri image so quickness of the release of the energy varies as per the tissue and give a differential image so as per the tissue the release is uh, um, uh, different by varying the sequence of radio frequencies pulses applied collected and uh, different type images are created you can play with the tr and tf rf you can generate the various images so various of uh, images uh, gray intensity of the images is created by uh, rate of release of the radio uh, uh, energy so here is example short te and long te and short tr long tr if there is a short te and short tr it is a t1 image is created and long te and long tr is the t2 image is created so the shades of gray in the tissues or water in mri is called intensity if there is a hypo intense it looks black if it is hyper intense looks bright iso intense looks gray let's study one sequence by another first sequence is the t1 in t1 fat looks bright white and uh, this bright white uh, this bright white and this is the myelin and water looks black so ventricles looks black you can use for studies normal anatomy and vascular change let's t1 contrast when given gadolinium contrast you can see the vessels and it is hyper intense in the structure so t2 sequence it is just a flip side of the t1 in t2 the csf aqueous humor vitreous humor looks white fat looks black so myelin the uh, uh, white meters looks black water is csf that ventricles looks white blood vessel looks blood vessel looks dark so mostly used for the csf studies and lesions in the brain flare sequence is the flip side of t2 it is a fluid attenuation inversion recovery how do i identify you can see the ventricular ooze csf looks black ventricle looks black and most lipological fluids you can see here looks also white so in t2 csf ventricle and pathological fluid look all are white in flare 
pathological fluid looks white but csf looks black to so how to identify easy identification of t1 t2 and player in a t1 if you see csf is black very easy in t2 csf is white t2 player is a flip side of t2 where you can see the hyper intense ventricular oozes along the walls of the ventricle mr diffusion it is a the image to see the fluid restriction in the part of the lesion or part of the brain it is it looks like a ghost appearance so it is a ghost sequence diffusion weighted image and there is a fluid restriction though why it looks hyper intense and why it, it looks hyper intense to measure the diffusion we need a pc map that is called apparent diffusion coefficient and it is a statistical measure of restriction you can see this dwi it looks white in adc map it looks black then fspgr sequence it is called fast spoiled gradient echo 3d fspgr you can 3d format and more differential of normal structures you can easily identify contrast as well as non contrast improves the anatomical display here you see usually normal mri you cannot see properly the optic asthma here in fspgr sequence you can see the optic asthma so in fs this fs feature sequence is a common practice in our uh, um, uh, target delineation so if you see you have a gu machine it is called fs feature philips it is called cefp in siemens it is called ampere sequence fiesta sequence another sequence mostly used for cranial nerves to uh, visualize cranial nerve systems and cs csfs ventricles the first imaging employs steady state acquisition and mostly used for the clear visualization of cranial nerves in the trigeminal and neuralgia planning and uh, uh, csi planning another sequence is called star sequence or fat shot sequence here it is called short tau inversion recovery this chemically selective pulses cause the signal from fat to be null means saturated so mostly used for the post operative pituitary tumors where you can see the gel forms or fats it in the hyper intense in the star sequence MRS it is a magnetic resonance spectroscopy it is a measurement of the chemical environment in the tissue it is mostly used for the grading of the tumor and you can see the here choline peak in glioblastoma so if you see there is a most metabolic property here used are choline creatinine na and na is the good it is a neuronal activity choline is the bad it is the mostly used for the tumors lipid is the ugly metabolism used in the necrotic tumors so you can measure the uh, various chemicals and you can differentiate uh, the tumors mr angio a magnetic resonance angiography is used to generate images of arteries to evaluate for the stenosis occlusions aneurysms and other abnormalities mr perfusion again another sequence to see the perfusion of the particular part are mostly in the tumors like blood volume and blood flow it can distribute more because of the new angiogenesis glioblastomas high mostly higher perfuse rather than low grade gliomas gradient echo sequence another sequence it can detect micro bleeds mostly if you see the uh, uh, schwannomas there will be micro bleed and always confuse cp angle tumors are confused with meningiomas so how, if there is a micro bleed you can see here these micro bleeds are the characteristic of schwannomas but in meningiomas in the la, um, uh, last picture if you see there is a no bleed it is a meningioma so micro bleed it is a um, uh, schwannoma no bleed it is a meningioma it is called gradient echo sequence gre sequence so when you are planning for an mri in a preglioma or metastasis in the radiation planning at least we should ask various characteristics various requirements like mri brain you write contrast if there is a glioma double contrast in the mets t1 t2 player sequence 3d fs feature sequence no gap no tilt neutral neck 1 mm slice 51 to 51 to matrix you should ask like this in special cases when there is a post of pituitary adenoma you can ask for star sequence trigeminal neuralgia cause uh, you can ask fiesta sequence cp angle tumor gre sequence glioma diffusion and perfusion images abm angio grading of the tumors you can ask for the mrs 
थैंक यू वेरी मच होप यू अंडरस्टूड यू कैन कॉमेंट सब्सक्राइब शेयर लाइक थैंक यू वेरी मच